is Engineer 775 at an undisclosed location. I just found out that the uh, homeowner, who's a, who's a prepper, I've done a lot of work on this property, found out that he wants to sell the place. This place is a prepper's paradise. Um, there's not only this 10,000 square foot log home, there are four other properties, four other homes on the property. And so what I'm going to do is show you a little bit of this home, letting you know there are four other functioning houses. There's a lot of things that have been done to make this place functional and off the grid in terms of their water and energy and there's safe rooms, there's uh, everything a lot of people are asking about in terms of a property. Um, and we're gonna, you're gonna have to check the description. I'm gonna disable the comments on this. I'm gonna, all, if you're interested, if you're seriously interested, you just need to send this gentleman a an, an email and that'll be listed in the description. But I'm gonna show you a little bit of the property, show you some of my handiwork on it. And he just wanted me to do a video. I said, sure, I'll do one. And again, in this area, just to let you know, there are a lot of people that are like-minded uh, the gentleman is just uh, moving his family not too far away, actually, to a, another piece of property where they're building, starting from scratch, uh, a, a prepper community. So, you know, he's, he will continue to be the neighbor, um, and that also helps you as uh, having another like-minded prepper in the area. So, great, great location, Western North Carolina. If you're interested and seriously interested, just send him an email. And uh, just uh, all I ask you, let him know uh, that I sent you. All right, this is Engineer 775. Let's show you the place. Okay, I'm going to show you um, some some of the house. It's a beautiful home. It is. It comes fully furnished, fully stocked. There is a five-year supply of food with the house. It will go with the house. And um, so there's probably over $100,000 in food supplies for this location. So this place is turnkey with a lot of redundancies and backups. There's a outdoor fireplace and kitchen there's I'm just going to kind of pan around so you can see again this it's a beautiful home around 10,000 square feet I am not a realtor so if I'm not showing you something that you wanted to see then you'll just have to forgive me on that I'm just doing this for a friend and uh, so let me show you a little bit of the kitchen because if the ladies don't see the kitchen there'll be problems so it's a nice cool cool table this wood countertops got some granite so everything's top of the line things uh, obviously everything's working uh, laundry room mechanical room um, I'm gonna go upstairs this is like a this is like a hunting lodge the hunting is great. I was just talking to a gentleman because uh, somebody just shot a 13-point buck off of his property. Not too happy about that. So you have uh, a lot of bedrooms throughout. It's just uh, my little camera probably won't do it justice. Oh, and there's critters in there. What is that? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> anyway, so... Little wood stove backup, fireplace, some real heavy timbers in this. I think it's master bedroom, master bath. Again, I'm just giving you a quick walkthrough. You might not want to see all of this, but here's the view from upstairs looking down into the great room. One of the cool things that you, I can't really, you can't see when you look at the windows, but every window in the house, and there's a bunch, has this uh, material on there, and they can withstand 500 pounds of force per square inch. So every window in the house, probably three to five thousand dollars worth of uh, coverage on it, can withstand a sledgehammer. So no, the windows can't be broken. Um, the outer window can, but the inner window is treated or covered with this laminate film. So the entire house was done in it. Okay, we're in a basement now, and it's uh, definitely a finished basement. Uh, a lot of storage, a lot of, lot of room. One of the other cool things are there's some really heavy-duty shutters. Uh, if these weren't there, you'd be looking out into the beautiful woods, but right now they're, they're heavy-duty, pressure-treated shutters that, that can open and cover all the openings on this floor. So that's another pretty cool uh, security feature. I'm just going to walk around a little bit. Uh, got... A gym set up and pantries and food everywhere 
Uh, it's endless room, but I'm not showing you everything. Here's uh, one of the one of the food storage rooms. It's not the only one. Um, so again, this can and can go with the with the purchase of this home. Okay. All right. One of the coolest features of this home is one that you don't see. It's definitely not obvious, and that's on purpose. And if you come to the bathroom in the basement, this uh, there's a little trap door that's been put in here, and, uh, and that takes you and leads you to the safe room, which has some custom work done to it. This actually ends up under the driveway, and uh, a heavy-duty metal door was fabricated for this entryway. But this is all hidden from from the from everyone. It's fully powered. Um, it has its own water, separate water supply that I um, developed through. Uh, so there's spring water, gravity-fed spring water to this room. So check out this uh, command and control center. This is a room equipped, bunk beds, lots of food, fully working kitchen, the ability to cook, sanitation, uh, on-demand, uh, water, water heating. Uh, there's a lot of backups and again there's food everywhere in this house I find food so this is a pretty cool safe room you can see the steel beams there was no no corners cut when this thing was built this thing is uh, this thing is a very stout it does have an exit it's a, a secret uh, way to get out of this building in case you needed to, um, to get out every every structure like this needs to to uh, ways of egress and so this is how you get out of here I don't know if I if there's a light on that yeah there's the other heavy-duty steel door multiple locks and you can go out I don't know if I can get out there right now no I, you'd have to but just know you can't get in and out of that easily so anyway it's a neat really cool place right here all right um, again and the food that is stocked here is not, uh, this is top of the line. You see the Mountain House products everywhere. Um, so there's no, <laughs> just amazing prepper, prepper palace for sure. So we're coming in, going, we're going to leave the safe room. Again, food and water everywhere. Turn off the lights. Let him shut that up. Okay. All right. Again, overall, I, I, there are seven seven bedrooms, five and a half baths, and um, a two thousand gallon buried water tank up on the top of the mountain, which gives uh, very good water pressure to the entire home. And that is completely done with a mechanical system. I'm going to show you that. Um, but he also has a well that has a hand pump, and the generator can also run the submersible pump. So we'll, uh, we'll show you some of those things when we go outside to look around. Okay, the entire home has been and can be easily heated with wood. There's two wood heaters in the home. There's unlimited supply of wood on the property. And you'll find and see stacks of it in various places. Already seasoned and ready to go. Hello, Max. Hi, puppy. Don't, don't, don't eat me. Max does not... He does not come with the purchase of this home. <laughs> I'm glad he's in that cage. It's okay, Max. It's not okay. Yet. I'll leave you alone. We also have uh, the ability to, obviously, to raise chickens. They've had chickens here for several years. They've got goats. Uh, they've got rabbits. Let me see if I can find the rabbits here. It's just covered right now for winter. And, oh, there's some more girls over here. We got lots of chickens over there and there's some bunnies across the way see the rabbits in there so um, goats chickens rabbits been raised here for several several years so that's that's already set up for you and that's always very helpful to have your resupply plan in place one of the many outbuildings on the property it's a little just a little garage for four-wheelers ATVs Store and feed, and the rabbits and the chickens are on the side in the back of this structure. Though you can't see it, um, the water system, there's a trench through here that goes up to a 2,000 gallon buried uh, tank, 
and then it's gravity fed down. Um, it is an all wood home and one of the concerns was the ability to be able to fight fires because you will be your own fire department, EMS, and so forth. You can hook up, a, you can dump that t entire 2,000 gallons of water through this two inch line on the house or you can hook up a, you know, a trash pump. You know, they're reasonable to hook up to the, um, this and dump that entire tank on the house. So you can fight your own fires at this location. We've also done a site evaluation for the this home in terms of putting a solar battery backup system on it um, and we already spec'd it out to put a ground mount it's not here now obviously but a uh, ground mount solar system could be placed on this bank to uh, give all the power that required for the critical circuits in this home so um, it is possible it is facing south and you can get good production off of this hill okay beautiful time of year up here in western north carolina you can see the leaves are starting to change and They've done a lot of work on this hill, making nice roads. There's goats. I think that's where I'm heading now. It's down to the goat goat house. Okay, in this area, on the side of the house, there are about 50 blueberry bushes that have been planted. There's all sorts of fruit trees and uh, cherry trees. The uh, garden produced a tremendous amount of broccoli asparagus um, for about 10 people. It doesn't look that big, but it... Uh, it has produced a lot of food for this family. So they've done a lot, they've planted a lot. A lot is um, here for your resupply plan. And here are the goats. You got a great section of woods down here where the goats are, uh, dairy goats, uh, mixed with boar meat goats. And uh, there's a ton of wildlife around the property too. There's elk, bear, deer, you name it, uh, hogs. There's all sorts of wildlife, but you also have a great place to, uh, you know, here's your resupply plan for meat and dairy, and they're doing well. They've had the goats set up here for, I think, three years now, too, so just a great, nobody even knows, nobody has any idea that these are here, which is also awesome. What do you think about that, sir? Here's a full-blooded boar billy goat was raised here on the property and uh, he's pretty happy. Nice little hay barn all set to go here. Very good roof on it. That uh, structure is great for many many years. They're it's starting to introduce sheep now that the goats have done their job cleaning up. It's nice to have other types of livestock in that can kind of handle all the different for forages because the goats typically won't eat the grass. So. Anyway, this place is is just, it's ready to go. Got food stored, you got your resupply plan, and uh, everything else that you need to go along with it. Okay, we were hoping to sneak up on some elk and show you some elk. Um, you might still see some, I'll try to catch it on camera. But you got a beautiful mountain creek, mountain stream running through the property. It, uh, the property, and I failed to mention to you, is 16 acres, but it is... Uh, Every bit of it's beautiful, well utilized, and uh, let's see if we can find some elk. I didn't know this was even here. Another resupply plan. Do you see all that going in there? See what that is? You probably can't, but that's uh, some beautiful trout in there. Um, got any, this is water pulled from the fresh mountain stream over to here, so you got another resupply plan. So if you need trout for dinner, just come down and catch you a couple over here. There they are, so this little pond's stocked nicely with, uh, they've had up to a hundred. One thing they do contend with are the bears in the winter coming to get a, get a meal. And uh, so anyway, that's, that's just awesome. From a utility standpoint, um, electricity comes into the property. Enough electricity was sized to put ten homes, if, if needed, on the property. And everything's run underground. So you don't have a, a problem with, obviously, with ice storms, at least on this property. So everything was trenched in. Wanted to give you a really nice view from below the house. We're down by the, the creek and looking up at the house. So you can see the, you know, three levels and all the, the nice woodwork and pickets with mountain laurel. And it's just a beautiful log home. And just want to give you this, this perspective of it. Here's a 12 kVA. Honda backup generator, automatic transfer switch, 
to run uh, all the critical circuits in the home. There is another generator sitting in a box, brand new. Um, if there's any failure in this, which usually with the Hondas you're not going to see that, but uh, I think this has been in for about three years. And then the uh, you can just pull the other one out of the box and it'll hook up identical to this one. So in case you did have any problems, there's backups to backups at this location. And there are some creature comforts. Uh, this is a steam room that is just about complete. You have a uh, hot tub, steam room, big old porches. We're on the first level, so I'll show you all of them. These are the wood shutters I was showing you from the inside. Got heavy duty hinges. You're not just going to pull these apart, but they're uh, at least some, some good protection um, from breaking in. On, on the lower level. This is the spot where uh, we developed the springs. Um, I actually put two spring boxes in and they all tie into one line and they feed a uh, pumping tank for the hydraulic ram pump which pumps the water up 120 to 130 feet into the 2,000 gallon storage tank. So the whole place can run off of power, no power using a mechanical ram pump and gravity feeding water to the home. Though the location has a lot of uh, amenities and modern uh, conveniences, there's also some cool uh, prepper items on the property and this would, you know, I'm kind of partial, this would be my favorite, but this, this little ram pump will supply all the water that this location needs. Uh, ram pump will run 24-7. This is coming from a spring. You can't really see it because things have grown up since I did it. But there's a tank up there that collects the spring water from across the fence. There are two spring boxes, which you just saw. And that water comes down through a line and it runs the ram. And then we take the water up 800 feet and an elevation of about 120 feet to a 2,000 gallon tank. So believe it or not, that little ram would supply all the water you need for your home, a safe room, your goats, your chickens, and many families and allow you to fight fire. It does require a little bit of maintenance from time to time, just checking on it. Uh, like we just noticed that the spring box was running out the overflow. It took two seconds to clean it out, and the ram started running automatically. So uh, this is a great gizmo that doesn't require any electricity to supply all your water needs. Here's a little buried cistern for the ram pump. Water coming in, and... Uh, this is an overflow back down to the creek when that ram tank is full. So, great little system. It is buried, hasn't frozen. We'll work year round. Here's the location of the well, and uh, we did also put a hand pump in the well. And uh, there's many ways to. Uh, also, you have the ability not only to feed the house, but you can back feed and fill the tank. I keep talking about you can't see because it's buried. So, with a generator, hand pump, ram pump. You got three ways to put water in that tank. Once the tank's full, you could live for a couple weeks easily. As I mentioned, there are four other homes on this property, and this is one of the nice little nice little place right here. So it'd make a good suite for the mother-in-law or whoever. Um, but uh, let me show you. So come down here. There's actually another home in the back. Fully furnished, fully equipped, so you have another nice little home back here. And uh, on the other side of the property, kind of the mirror image of this, there are two more homes. So again, you have four, five homes in total on the 16 acres, so it makes a, a great, great location for a big family, or if you have a prepper group looking for a location to, uh, to move to, where there's, again, like-minded folks, everything's set up for you. Check it out. Okay, the last thing I'll show you because we're leaving is to put to show you the, the tank. And I don't know if my camera will pick it up, but I don't know if you hear water running. But that is from the ram pump I showed you. And we're we're way, way, way the house is down there. The ram pump's way below the house. The springs are level with the house. So uh, that ram pump mechanically pushes the water up into this tank, and then this tank is used to water everybody. Goats chickens, rabbits, the house, the safe room, and also we drop the two-inch line in 
so we could do some firefighting as well. Okay, so if you're seriously interested in uh, contacting the homeowner on this Prepper Paradise, and just uh, send an email. There will be an email address in the description. Um, please don't send any messages to me on it because I don't have time to field all of them and I don't want to miss somebody that's really serious about a piece of property that's turnkey ready to go with five homes on it and off the grid. One other thing I wanted to tell you, a couple other things. It is uh, gated to, uh, there's a security gate getting into the, the location. Also up top, um, there's a nice little carport to put your bug out vehicle in and that's what this prepper has done. And so, anyway, there's a lot of things, other extras that I haven't, don't have time to, to get into right now. So, so if you're looking for a prepper paradise in the mountains of western North Carolina where there's plenty of natural resources, wildlife, water, and uh, wood, then this might be your place.